back at it again. Um, I'm in my room now. It's really nice here, comfortable. Uh, there are two other girls, Chinese. Uh, the girl here didn't seem to want to talk at all, so that's fine for me. I'm pretty tired as well. Um, I've just been chilling and just washed my clothes and looking up tourist attractions where to go in this town. And the funny thing is that there's a big difference if you ask a Chinese person or if you ask a foreigner on where to go. So I've learned that it's pretty common in these places that there are a few very popular tourist attractions where most of the Chinese they go in tour groups with a guide and then there are the foreigners who are going uh, in other places where the Chinese like why do you want to go there? I'm not stereotyping, I'm not saying everyone is like that but that's just what I experience every time I come to a new town um, also, when I ask the Chinese where I should go, then they always come up with things where I'm like, ah, that's maybe not what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, the interesting thing is that foreigners are more into experiencing the local life, everyday life, you know, locals selling stuff at a market or cooking or doing their coursework, whatever they're doing. Whereas, as I said, yeah, the Chinese are more into uh, taking beautiful pictures. So that's cool, whatever you want. But yeah, so when I'm looking up where I should go, I look up both in English and in Chinese to make sure that I get all the choices. Uh, and yeah, I think I have a few things I want to do the next few days. I don't want to stress too much because I have three, three, four days here. So yeah. I have 29, 30, 31, and yeah, uh, four days to travel around this area. So it's going to be exciting, but first we probably need some food because I'm starving. I'm just waiting for my clothes to, uh, to finish uh, wash, washing. I'm just waiting for the machine to stop, finish the washing, so I can hang it up and then I'll be ready to go. And yes, I'm uploading because there is fast Wi-Fi here. Amazing! <laughs> This is what happens when you just uh, follow a map. So my Baidu uh, map just told me to walk this way <coughs> to get uh, faster, to reach my destination faster. So yeah, I'm definitely not on the main roads anymore, but this is local life. Not a sound Sneaking out through your window Into the night Where we were meant to be Skipping town Searching for no land Ready or not This might be our last chance Could make it count This is what we waited for No looking back We started something I can never let go I'm keeping you close to me We don't need no sleep And I know we will be alright How cool is it to be able to watch Friends with Chinese subtitles so I can read and learn a little bit but also watch what I like to watch and yeah, I know the Chinese internet is blocking a lot of foreign media, but you know, when I can watch my friends on a Chinese one and it's working in a cafe, I'm just like, whatever, this is great. Oh yeah, and I also have the view of the beautiful Li Hong here, you could star in China. Hey boy, cutie! How cool is it that they put the street names like this, the signs are like this, I think they're so pretty. And it's written, I, I assume it's in Lao language, but it could be Thai, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, Chinese and English, how cool is that? Anyway, I just had some food and it was delicious. I just watched a little bit of Friends and now I'm gonna eat my ice cream, the half of it, as I do. And uh, then I'm going down to see a park which I don't know when I read on the Chinese websites they're very excited about it when I read on the foreign ones they're like oh it's so staged because in this area there are a lot of minorities and the park it's like a culture park so it's showcasing 
how the minorities, uh, not how, like, yeah, how the minorities lived before, uh, wearing the nice costumes, colorful costumes, and doing some performances uh, from each minority. So, yeah, I think I'll go and have a look because I think it's very pretty. Like, I know, of course, it isn't authentic, you know, and I know that. Um, that local life they didn't dress up in beautiful costumes every day but I feel like I can't I can't get here for the water splash festival in April I would love to though uh, so I feel like to see a little bit of the culture minority culture here it's a fine place to go and have a look and yeah just enjoy the colors and sorry for the noise <laughs> and don't think too much about it you know just have fun and look how pretty this is like the mix of Chinese characters, old and new, and the Thai style here, more Chinese and flowers. It's really lovely. So funny enough, I heard that you would probably bump into like big groups of Chinese tourists on tour, but I haven't seen anyone. I'm all alone here, a uh, few locals, a few cars, but that's about it. How nice is this? And the weather is amazing right now. It seems like this is the entrance to the park or the road down to the, the street down to the entrance. Too bad with the last uh, minority village park, but uh, look at this. That's nice. Okay, so the walk to the minority park didn't go as well as planned because what I thought was the entrance was actually the entrance to a massive hotel and now I've been walking around here and it seems like it's a hotel where you rent a whole uh, house um, and yeah so I've been walking around in um, like between all the big houses here and I can see that the park should be on this side, but there is no entrance on this side. There are only really high fences and very much silence and green grass and trees. So yeah, I'm just having a little break and then I'll walk out where I came from and go back and try to walk another way around the park and hope the entrance will show up. I can't find it online anywhere, so I think I just have to go and see what I can find and if I can't find it, that's too bad. I really hope I can though, because I've been walking quite far to get here, so yeah. Anyway, wish me luck. <laughs> I am now walking on the other side of the fence. And I have no idea where I'm walking towards, like the security guard said I should walk this way, but I don't know. I haven't seen anyone in a really long time now. And yeah, that's again why I shouldn't introduce anything to you guys before I actually get there, because you see, I just get lost in a resort and in a hotel resort and and now it's totally ah oh, and my battery is running out very soon as well so that's just great <laughs> i have no idea what this is and i'm not sure i'm definitely not gonna go in I'm, I'm not walking in the right direction either and one dude he's looking at me maybe i'll just take a walk around here and enjoy the weather and the silence and not think too much about me not finding the minority park yeah <laughs> Okay, now it makes sense why the security guard said it would be free to walk around in here. It's just a park. It said minority cultural park something and I thought it was here and it said something about an entrance as well but it must have been, you know, they must have closed it at some point, I don't know. I just saw a group of old people playing mahjong and then some lady she was dancing around but that's the only thing I see here. So for now we're just gonna enjoy the beautiful scenery and then, I'm sorry for me introducing the wrong thing, I don't know, maybe I'll just cut it out of my video. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite lovely here anyway though. See, you can see it has been something before because there are like what, small roller coasters, a little temple entrance. It's really close right now though. Looks like it hasn't been used for a while. Maybe it's just not being used right now, I don't know. Interesting. 
exploring Jing Hong here. <laughs> I quite like this one though. It's like being in, in Thailand and Lao. <laughs> That's nice. Just laying here, had a little nap. Don't think I slept very much, but it's nice. The weather is so hot right now. It's not humid, humid. It's just really, really hot. So yeah, just trying to stay alive. I should go and get something to drink because yeah, my head is so heavy right now. <laughs> This is my view, there is a blue sky. It's not so clear right now, but it is blue. And then I'm not sure what fruit this is. Like if anyone knows, please let me know. Oh my God, maybe it's a pineapple. I don't think I've ever seen, yeah, maybe I have, I don't know actually. It could be pineapples, but <clears throat> if it's not, don't make fun of me, I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, this is just a view. So quiet here, so nice. Just sitting here, you know, not doing anything. Look what I found here on my way back to the hostel. I decided to go back to have a little break because it's so hot. But I just wanted to look, have a look in here before going. Wow. Again, China, Southeast Asia. I really do feel like I'm in Thailand right now. It's really interesting. But of course it makes sense because we're so close to the borders. Somebody must be living here. Just bought some fruit from the market here. Oh. It's too dark. The fruit from the market. I just bought it here. Eight kwai for two bananas. I think it's a nectarine again. And a mango. <clears throat> Pineapple business. I'm a real rebel because this is not my room. But the door is open so I'm just sitting here on the balcony and taking Two minutes in of the beautiful view again. The sky has cleared up a little bit, but, and yeah, so it's just so beautiful. I'll show you. Just check it out here. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm back in the hostel for a little break because my battery is gonna die in a sec or two. And yeah, I need to write some postcards that I didn't finish before. Noise again. It's always noisy in China. You don't find many quiet places here. Um, and yeah, I need to fix some videos because I've been filming so much footage. I need to, you know, start to figure out how many videos and what they're going to be called and just the whole thing. Like, it's quite messy right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you guys later.